but I believe the following week I will not be streaming. I know. So basically the 27th, um, I'll, I'll, I'll remind you guys that this is happening next week, but I'm not streaming on the 27th because I'm, I'm going to Vancouver for a fun trip. Um, but as I mentioned earlier in the stream, if you missed it, I'll be streaming twice a week in October for the full month because I want to do a bunch of uh, spooky games. I've been feeling the spoop, you know? Spoop has been coming out of me. <laughs> so, we just escaped the mental hospital. Also, huge content warning on this game. It is not the good vibes. I'm not kidding. I hope you have a good trip. Thank you. You little bitch, I will make you pay for what you did. Yeah, it's... It's, it's not the good vibes. Oh, You clever little girl, do you think you can just leave? Yes? Oh no. Oh, ow. Oh. This will mess up my schedule more than you can imagine. <laughs> Also, do y'all mind for a second if I mess with something? Hold on. This, is this just me or is it really loud? Okay, turning it down a little bit. I want to fix something. There, there's something like not quite right about my settings here. Hold on a second. Testing, testing, testing. Nope. Audio threshold. I forget. Okay, there we go. Because I noticed that my uh, settings were not quite right for my V2 because it wasn't really moving a lot. I, I just wanted to tweak things a bit. And now it, it works a little bit better. You can see it actually is like wiggling a bit. I may fit another like I might stream that week, Neville. Um, like just not on Tuesday, but I'll be coming back that week. I think I'm leaving on the weekend. Oh, we're going into the maze, huh? I thought you died. I watched you die, though. Ooh, I like this shift in tone. Following the cat. Ah. Oh. Okay. I guess I have to avoid the ghosts. I lost the cat. I hear it. That's arguably even worse. Oh, for your schedule? Oh no.
Where's the cat? Is this gonna work? No. Oh. Yay, I made it. At the end of the maze you will find the evil craters of the night. Ah, they will hunt you, they will laugh. But there will be always a good side. Will there though? A camp full of nuts and bolts. Will always be your guide. Oh no, my photograph! No! Chapter 2. Oh, I had only beaten chapter 1. Damn. Alright, let's see if we can't beat chapter 2 today. Oh my goodness, that was close. I hope the guards don't find the sewer. Andy Dufresne climbed and <laughs> crawled through three acres of... The worst bile I can imagine. Dear, your arm is gone. Good that you are not bleeding. Alright, let's pills it up. Pill time. Oh, hello. Oh. Mr. Midnight, are you in there? Big, uh, on where you are currently in Gloomwood. Hello, Colin. Um... I don't think I had even gotten out of the first area I'm a 10. Ooh, a key. Ah, oh, curiosity is damned. Damn you, curi curiosity. Oh, I like to be curious, otherwise how will you learn things? Uh, what are you? You are kind of curious yourself. What is the right question, but why should be more appropriate? I want the key. I don't have time to chat, sir. I want the key, that's all. Oh, but that key isn't ours. And it's not yours, for sure. Good to have an extra key. Especially when you are up to something. We couldn't care less. The affection towards you is simply none. I'm Fran. You're very honest. I like that. I'm a person, Fran. Pleased to meet you. Interesting. Tell us more. I had a cat. Well, I had one. He's missing now. I have to find him. Really? Yes, really. Now please give me the key. Look, person, Fran. We came from the south, flying as always. And one of us got curious about this key, and all of us got stuck here. And because of our long hair, we can't get loose. Can I help? So you are also curious, can I help you? We usually get stuck on trees, but we have something to fix that. A beautiful comb. A comb to comb our hair every time we get stuck. Give it to me. Give me the comb and I can fix you. There is a problem. A filthy thief took the, the comb. Now we are stuck forever. I'm in the second location and it's playing on my phobia of dogs. Oh, I've heard about the dogs. If you find the thief and the comb, you will f have the key. Deal? What does he look like? It's a rat. A filthy narcissist rat. He took the comb to be beautiful. We couldn't do much, so he ran away with it. Please find it and free us from curiosity. I'll try, try my best. We will be here, waiting. Okay, let's not pills. Hello, tree. Pills time. Oh. I feel so pills. We only have a crayon. A 
kind of bird are you? Make an entry. Let's grab that axe. That seems like a good thing to give Fran. Terrible axe, I will be the warrior and savior of things. Use axe for that. What a bluff. There's no hole in here. All my forces united to do something unnecessary. Oh, well, I don't know. What is that? It's a feather. Tickle, tickle. I'll keep it. No pills. Alright. So we're done here. What? I'm not in pills mode. What the heck are you? Oh, wow. You really are a big ant. Who's there? Are you real? Mr. Head dangling from a tree. Oh yeah, Colin, a heavy content warning on this game, just so you know. It is, as I say, it is not the good vibes. You always ask the same thing, always. Oh, excuse me, sir, are you real? What do you mean? Of course I'm real, where did you come from? I escaped. The mental hospital, but please don't tell anyone. I won't tell, don't worry, but what are you doing here? My cat is out here. Somewhere, and I have to find him. A cat, you say? A black cat. With very big yellow eyes, Mr. Midnight. Oh, I see, I'm sorry, girl. You haven't seen it? It happens to be that the cat is eaten, chewed and swallowed. Eaten? What do you mean? The black cat that came towards me in a hurry. Oh, did you eat it? I catch it, I give it to my beetle pig. My beetle pig is hungry. Oh, my poor beetle pig hasn't had any food in days. The blueberry time passed by and we ate them all. Stop it. Can't you see Mr. Midnight is the only one I have? Are you joking? Oh, little girl, don't cry. I can sing for you if you like. What will I do now? You don't know how it feels to be alone? I do know, yes, I'm the last one alive. Let me help you, yes? How can you help? The digestion is not so fast, you know. Maybe he's still alive inside the beetle pig. Make it vomit? Kill the beetle pig. He is also the only friend I have left, but I need the meat. I can do it. You can kill the beetle pig, and I, Antonio the Greatest, shall eat the meat. This took a turn. Okay, pig is not, um, eager to die. Let's try the feather on it. Well, I was thinking that maybe it would throw up. Hey, there's a little hedgehog back there. It can't be as bad as real life. I don't know. <laughs> hmm, am I doing this right? Let's try pills. Creepy. Did you eat my cat? Talk to Ant. Wake up, the pig won't stay still. Tickle, tickle. Ah, the thread is great. Great. Wake up. I think the beetle pig doesn't like the idea of being killed. Oh, I see, but that is completely normal, isn't it? What should I do? You have to give him the special berries. The blueberries. There are no berries. I shouldn't say this to you, but I have the right connections. They live inside my house. They have blueberries. My house is in that direction. Be careful. Oh, I see. Pills. Oh no, my cat! Look, Fran, I'm in danger. 
Find me alive. Find me dead. Bip bip. Find me someday in a golden cage. There's a mushroom up there. There's no smoke coming out of the chimney. Are these the blueberries? These are blackberries, though. Seems to be open, but very stuck. And <laughs> the power of destruction will take it down. Oh, I love this. Oh no, I broke the door. Well, now I can... Yeah, I wonder if this game was very influenced by Alice in Wonderland. Shouldn't take other stuff, but I want super glue for the attachment. The Queen of Meat. Great. There's water in the sink. I'm uh, just looking around. What is this? Underpants? Tea time, sir. This is odd. I thought ants never cooked their meals. Oh, here they are. Sir, you look so angry. Blueberries, ouch, that hurts. Baby pine cone, haha, <laughs> so sweet. Okay, time to glue this guy to the floor. Sometimes things just don't work. Well, axe time it is. Can't be done. Hmm. I think I have to trick him, but how? How would I trick him? Oh god, the dogs! <laughs> Even if I wanted to take the meat, I can't reach it. Um, do I have the means of, of solving this now? Oh, hello. I'm Fran. Uh, let me follow this person for a second. No? Okay, never mind. Hold on, let me, I'll talk to the ant, see if he has anything to say. I can't take them. You can get on top of the blue chair. Oh. It will never allow anything. If you trap one of them, maybe it'll be easier. Okay. You'd think that if I, you know, wanted to take the meat... Uh, and clicked on it, she would just get on the chair. He wouldn't mind if I took some meat, yeah. Okay. We can give some meat, maybe, to the pine cones. We'll glue the meat to the doorknob. I don't know. Oh, we can glue the doorknob. Where should I paste it? Yes, it is the portion of the point-and-click adventure in which I try random things. Negative. Meat. Speaking of meat, you guys eat liver? I'm not a huge liver fan, no. What, what happens if I pills in here? Oh. Oh, I don't like that. Not with all these ants on it. Okay, meat time. Now this bag is mine. 
Okay, sometimes the answer is just to pills. I've had it before. A rat trap and some sort of card. Exterminator. Let's do a rat trap with floor. There we go. I got you. Sorry, sir, but I really need these blueberries. Now the mom is hitting me. Bad mom. There we go. They locked the door. <laughs> They're tired of your crap. Chicken is better? What about chicken livers? Now what? Now what, atheists? Here's the blueberries. And now you die. <laughs> well. What? You are not my cat. Oh, miss, you saved me from misery. Uh, where is Mr. Midnight? I assume that you are feeling disappointed. Who are you looking for? My lovely cat. Mr. Midnight. Oh, Miss Lady, I'm not very fond of cats, you know. A black one with very big yellow eyes was trying to catch me. Really? You seem to get in trouble often. Wait, maybe he is my cat. If he is, then he's the one in trouble now. What happened? I can show you. Follow me, please. It's not far from here. Here we are. Somebody took him, miss. They just disappeared. Could you be more specific? I wish I could. It looked like the earth swallowed them. If there is anything else I can do for you, just let me know. I'll be around. Well, I think it's pills time. Who did this to you? Was it my kitty? I feel like I'm supposed to go in there. Can I use the doorknob on the tree? Let's use it with the dead rat. You'd think it would be the doorknob. Did you steal a hair comb? Oh, the hair comb. The shiny, beautiful hair comb. Give it to me. Right away. Alright then, but can you please comb my hair first? Yes. I can comb your hair. See? Fran's not so bad. Farzee! What are you doing? Get out of there! Psst. Come here, you goblin. Quack. Come here. Come here. Hello. What's up? You wanna sit down? What color is your cat? My cat is black. But his name is Miss, not Mr. Midnight. His name is Percy. Or, as I prefer, the Little Goblin. Big is invaded by goblins. I am invaded by goblins and gremlins. Thank you, my lady, you are very kind. Okay, so we got the comb, so we know what to do with that. I try and, uh, I try and, um, per semi-provoke Percy into, into, uh, yelling for, for the, for, for chat. Don't worry, I'm not hurting him. Like, don't, don't worry about that. I would never hurt him, but, like, he'll, he'll respond if you talk to him. This is mostly the case, except when he's on my lap, in which case he's just 
purring, and he doesn't do any. He doesn't say anything. Something in that pile of stuff. I remembered something funny. Oh, this instrument is pretty. Can be a good, plazy, a cozy place to stay. I know a story about a girl with red shoes and she had a dog. It says Jance, and I have no idea why. Maybe it's just like a name like mine or Mr. Midnight. Maybe a music maker that stopped making music? King would like this one. I'm not going back though, he must escape himself. I wonder if they're looking for me. Um, I don't know what's in this pile of stuff that I can take. Piano, it sounds old. Uh, we could- oh, what happened to our axe? It's like gone gone. The wooded board. Oh. I never would have expected that. It looks like a door. Okay, now we can combine this with that. Nice. I, I, I would never have guessed that that was a thing that we could interact with. Here is your beautiful comb, misters. I sniff my cat to make her meow. It's funny stuff. Little black cat named Buffy from Buffy the Vampire Slayer. My last cat was also black and his name was Monty. It's just a good name for a cat, I think. You can probably hear Percy. We've been, um, we've been having to lock Percy up because we've been painting the, the inside of the apartment and uh he's he's seeking more attention because he doesn't he doesn't like getting locked up percy uh actually came from a like not to i, I don't i don't mean this as a as a like a put down but a hoarder household like a legitimate one and uh we like um what's the term fostered him for a couple weeks to see if we we would want to keep him and uh, the first night we had Percy, it, we were like, nah, nah, dog. You're going back to the foster for sure. Because <laughs> he was not okay the first night. He, uh, he was like full goblin. Uh, like meowing in the middle of the night. And it was like Percy's very staple meow, which basically sounds like a whale. Um, and, uh, just being, like, destructive, and we had another cat as well, and, and they were not getting along the first couple days. Um, also, we, we probably introduced them to each other a bit too quickly, so that was an issue. And, uh, and then, you know, I'd say week two, he, he chilled out a bit, and he became a really, really nice lap cat. And, uh, so Percy, Percy's been really good. I really recommend, like, you know, people will ask, like, oh, I want to get a cat, but I want to get a kitten or something. I'm like, you should try fostering. Because, like, fostering cats is really cool. Um, you don't, it sucks. Obviously, you end up in a situation where you, like, you foster a cat and you kind of like the cat. And then, it, you know, you find them an owner and then you have to give up the cat. And that sucks. You know. But at least they're going to a, a good home, hopefully. Um, you know, that's that's a good... And, you you know, you have a one-on-one -on -one with the person who wants to adopt them. So you get an idea of what kind of person they are. Um, 
and you know i i think that adopting like an adult cat is kind of a better deal overall because and when you get a kitten i know kittens are very nice you know kittens are cool i, I love kittens they're really cute obviously but the thing is is you don't know what kind of cat they're gonna be you know it's sort of like getting a uh you know like a digimon or something <laughs> like you know you don't know what they're gonna evolve into um because you know they don't really pick up habits they don't really develop a personality until they're kind of a year old and so you know i i i recommend like you know if you're looking at it, getting a cat two years old minimum or maximum depending on how you want to look at it because then at least you know what kind of cat they are you know if they like if you know they don't want to let you pet them for instance without biting you that's uh, then you know that that cat's probably not going to change too much although we will i will say the other cat we which we also fostered and i haven't really posted any pictures of him named gus he was a very bitey aggressive cat and he's turned into a very nice cat so uh, sometimes you don't know and i mean i didn't want to keep percy at first either so i could i'm just wrong about that maybe rescued a cat from a bad situation oh, i brought him to my parents farm my dad was mad but then in the end ended up being his best buddy following him around it's the thing about pets you know like you don't really realize how much you kind of need them until you have them. Like, uh, I had to, not to bring things down a bit, but I had to put Monty down a couple years ago. And they were basically my best friend for like you know, 15 years. And I didn't really want to get another cat for a long time. Because, you know, you can't really, you can't really replace that. And I mean, you shouldn't try either, but, you know, you don't realize that, yeah, you kind of do need that. You need some kind of, something to, to devote some time to. So it's like a different sort of socializing. To the horse farm. <laughs> what? Oh, sorry. <laughs> you, you sent the cat to the horse farm. Alright, let me continue this game. Oh, you Fran, the person, you finally did it. Hope the key opens the door you wish to open. Now we fly south at last. Goodbye. Goodbye, shiny misters. Have a nice trip. Nice. I got the key. I assume that opens the, do the door. Okay, so am I putting this on that? Yep. My own door is locked. There we go. Woohoo! What a curious little door. Yeah, I mean, this game definitely feels Alice in Wonderland inspired. Mr. Midnight, are you here? Oh. Chapter 2, Part 2, Double Person... Oh, excuse me. I have lost my cat, Zelos, a few years ago. The past year, I lost my Jack Russell. That, that sucks. I, I've never lost a pet in that way. That would really suck. I, I, I honestly would... I, that would... Yeah. That would be really, really rough. What is this? A, cat, a hat? I've heard of a cat in a hat, but not a cat as a hat. Your head, kitty. Wait just a second. This is not my kitty. I'm just adjusting here. I 
I have to find Kitty. I hope you are here somewhere. I won't lay down in that thing. I really hope that this cat, uh, this game doesn't do anything bad to cats. <laughs> it's the only thing that really I hate, like, that horror games will do occasionally. Oh, that and jump scares. A sharp, shiny knife. It can be good to have you. Sounds like Dracula, but in a spa. <laughs> To draw my little hands. I don't have soup. I don't need a spoon. Why does Fran keep collecting weapons? King Leo's baking soda. This always made the biggest cupcakes. Did you? Uh -huh. I know that probably everyone is in chat is not old enough to remember this, but did anyone ever play any Humongous games? Um, Humongous being a brand um, of game. They they made Pajama Sam and Spy Fox, and Freddy Fish, and Putt-Putt. They made a game, uh, a, like, one of their first games was called Fatty Bear. And uh, it was a point, like, these were all, like, kids' point-and-click adventures. Um, and Fatty Bear, you were making a cake. And it was pretty, it was, it was actually a really cool game. They, they were all really fun little games. Why do people keep dying around Fran? Just in time for her to lose a weapon in a puzzle. <laughs> Welcome home, beautiful kitten. We hope you like your new bed. Be nice and eat your food. Love, Clara and Mia. It's fun to see what people have in their homes. Are those eyes? Ugh. Mmm, a head from a human, I guess. Haha, <laughs> that's funny. Cooker to cook, my mommy told me how to use this. I bet she did. Poor trees. Yo, shut up. <laughs> you are not upset about those trees. You just, like, killed a pig thing. What's up? Are you getting up or are you just re adjusting? Are you get you're, you're leaving? Oh, smack the mic with your tail, I guess. Okay. Can we please play a Little Misfortune after this? That's actually a great idea. Hold on a second. I think I do have Little Misfortune. Or, sorry. Is it? Let me see. Little Misfortune. Oh, I do have that game. It wasn't the one I thought you were talking about. I thought you were talking about um, Little Nightmares. Which would be a great game to play during Spooky Month. I do have Little Misfortune. And I do actually... I wouldn't mind playing this one. Yeah, that's a great idea, bot. Solid. Beans! I played a little of the Fox one and heard of some of those games you mentioned. Yes, out of all of these things, do take the thing that looks like an alien's... You're gonna, you're gonna, ha gonna have to fill in the blanks on that one. A rare seed. I wonder what kind of flower will grow from it. I don't know. I'm sure it will be some eldritch creature from the Black Lagoon, though. I really love humongous games. I wouldn't mind streaming them at some point. I wish it was, like, um, you know, kind of better as a variety streamer. Because, you know, I, I, I feel like I could get away with streaming more, like, wild and crazy stuff. Painting of a teapot with painted tea inside. How do you know that? You don't know that. Can we leave? I close the window so the cold wind stays out. Okay. Why, why is that an option? Pine cone. I don't dare touch it. Maybe it will attack me. What the? What is wrong with you? Oh, I think it's pills time. <laughs> oh, I see you have it comfortable there, little baby. Uh-huh. Okay. You seem fresh. Are you still alive? Feels to me like this is the bottom of a well and makes more sense as, like to reality than not. The Little Misfortune is made by the same people that made this game, but better in every way. Explain. 
Can't get there from here. I need a bridge. Do we have a bridge? Combine with negative. Hmm, what is this anyway? Matchbox with many matches to light. Okay, I think I need to grow something here. Ah, oh, the baby is sleeping. Sleeping. R right? Uh huh. So, can we grow a plant here? With moonlight reflection. Okay, that just worked, huh? All right. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna question it. Nice blue rose. A magical blue rose. It grew on water. Okay. You are a clever little baby. You took your placenta. Listen, I know we're being, like, truly disgusting and all, but, you know, there is a line. <laughs> what happens if I go up here and then, uh, go not pills mode? Oh. Nothing. Okay, let's go to the other room and see what happens. Oh, I see. There's only, there's only this. A secret bottle with a secret inside. Um, what is this? Okay, nothing. It's more of the funny, but still basically as dark. Ooh. Sorry, I keep doing that, and I actually don't mean to do that. Um, so what is this for? Baking powder to make some soft, make soft dough bigger and beautiful. Hmm. Is there a phone around here? The window is locked. Oh, we could put a rose in here. Nothing, of course. What was I thinking? What was I thinking putting a flower in a flower vase? Oh, there's more room here. So, you're gonna have to pardon me for not knowing that, Mimesis, because it usually gives me a little eye to, to tell me that I can move from one room to another. Ah... Uh, that cake looks absolutely yummy. Have have some. I could eat the whole thing. Kind of weird to just stand there talking about how much you want to eat the cake and not eating any of it. Cozy and warm. A vase to put some flowers in it. It has ashes inside. Of course it does. Why wouldn't it have something like that? Mmm, delicious. Oh, you actually ate some? <laughs> uh, let's use the knife on the cake. Mmm, no. Okay, let's keep moving. Oh, hello. Child. Hello. Who are you? Oh. A record player, I wonder if it works. Let's see. Smooth jazz. There's no paper. The blueberry tree. These are both by that one ant dude. Antonio the Greatest. Is that the big ant from the woods? It is. Jance. Oh, Jance. That makes sense now. 
The stairs end up in a wall. Maybe that was the door I made and now it disappeared. Does this just go back in the well? Yes, it does. Mm. Why can't we leave through that window? Oh my goodness, the smell. Poor girl, who could have done this and why? <laughs> Friends, uh, reaction to things are very blasé. Burning candles. Okay, well. Hey, there's a blue rose there. A uh, blue rose in the moonlight. That was a mysterious woman. I like the blue rose. Maybe it's an old story. Maybe the moon gave her the rose because she loves her. What a tiny house in the middle of nowhere. Is that the house we're in? Maybe if I go back in here. Nope, the ghost is gone. Okay. Can we go up here? Time to do some sweeping. We're gonna do some sweep. So, there's a part in Alice in Wonderland where they have to paint the white roses red. I'm, I'm, am I wrong about that? A ladder. Oh, perhaps Mr. Midnight is up there. Let's have a look over here first. I like my steak medium rare, please. Mirror, but why is my reflection not there? Ugh, is that a monster and so much blood? I'll lay down and sleep tight when I get back home. These toys are so ugly. Hello, doll. Is this something we can grab? What is that? Tweezers. Nice. Perfume. Nice stuff. Very girly. Okay. Oh. Oh, okay. Oh. Oh, what? Yeah, that is absolutely horrendous. I just had to try it. Sorry. Bunny doll, are you waiting for Easter? <laughs> Those shoes are too big for me. Pacify. <laughs> so, what's in here? Mr. Midnight, are you here, kitty? Meow. I found you. Oh my goodness, my beloved friend, I found you. Fran, is that really you? Oh dear, finally. Let me see you. <gasps> it really is. Oh, Fran, I'm so happy to see you. I missed you very much. I had dreams about you. And here you are. Thank you for not giving up. I love you, my friend. I love you too. Something tells me that something is not right here. How did you find this place? After those people took you away in the woods, I tried to follow them. But after a while, I got lost. My senses were too weak to track you. I tried to catch some food to recover, but something happened. Somebody took me and put me in this cage. <clears throat> I will open the cage. We need to get to Aunt Grace. Fran, I'm very tired. I wish everything was just a bad dream. It's gonna be fine. We just need to uh, have to get out of here. Can I ask you something? Sure. Did you feel my presence in your dreams? I did. You told me to take the medicine and find you. What medicine, Fran? It wasn't really me talking to you. I think somebody was helping us get together. Every time I had dreams about you, I felt the presence of something else. A presence? For what I felt, it wasn't human, but it was really peaceful and kind. Brought us together. Did you hear that? Did you? Oh, I'll see what it what it is. I'll try to find the key to unlock you, alright? I love you. Scorpion. Scorpions make me nervous. 
there anything in here to collect? A lot of tiny stuff. A rat. Mr. Rat, it's time to get up. Is there anything in here that I need to collect? <laughs> Just truly disturbed. Can you grab the umbrella? It's a big umbrella. Nope. Is the ghost again? Drawer open, let me see what's inside. Ooh, candles. To light up the darkness. Yeah, that's what they're for. Definitely not for summoning Satan or anything. Yep. We we wouldn't want to be summoning Satan in this uh, house or anything like that. Nope. White candles everywhere. Wondering if we need to replace them with dark candles. Alright. There's a lock on the top of this. I wonder if there's a key for this one. I hear some knocking. Oh! Oh, you scared me. I thought nobody was living here. There you are. We were waiting for you. Where is your head? My head? My head is just in the right place. You... The precious being from the other world, who would ever believe us? I'm confused. What are you talking about? Fran Bo, that's your name, right? And your mom and dad died tragically. Very brutal, right? And now you really want to know who killed them, right? How do you know? How is, how is it that you know all this? We just know. We have to. We are part of this world. But don't be sad. Bad things happen to all of us all the time. I feel lost. I was going to say smother, but that may have been a bit too much. I mean, uh, in this kind of game, I can understand that being an actual solution, so I would not have blamed you for suggesting that. Don't wish for things that can't be done. Find solutions and answers. I can't see solutions. The pain I feel is so great I can't see them. Drink some tea and eat some cake. It will make you feel better. Who told you about me? Are you scared? Uh, a little. It's odd the way I came here, and this conversation makes me confused. You haven't asked about your cat yet, Mr. Midnight. It's very odd for a girl who lives, loves her cat more than anything else in the world. And yet you look so calm after finding him in a cage, hungry and scared. Shouldn't it be us trembling in fear of you? I love him. And that is why I'm here. I didn't mean to be rude to you. You want him back? He's my pe I really wish to have him back. He's my best friend. Before we set him free, I tell us about how it is that you came here. It's a long story. I escaped from a place. A very ugly place. They open the heads of children to find out what's wrong with them. Phil told me a secret, and I was clever enough to find the way out. And then I came into the woods and met a giant ant. And I killed a bug, and it was terrible. And then I met a rat who wanted to get his hair done. And then I met it made a door, and that door took me here. But when I entered the door, something happened. I don't remember anything else. And I saw the real, a real pinecone family. That was before I came here. They lived in Mr. Antonio's house. They like berries. I saw flying insects that got stuck in trees because they have long hair. That was also in the woods. And now here I am looking for Mr. Midnight. That was some adventure. How old are you, Fran? I'm 10 years old. But I have to turn 11 soon. And you? We are 16 years old, much older than you, so you have to obey us. I just wish you would open the cage so I can go home with my kitty. You haven't even asked our names. That's not polite. Then you shouldn't wander around in a house without permission. Are you stupid? A stupid little girl with no family at all. Stop that, please. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to be rude. Are you crying? Because if you are, you'll get in trouble. If you don't do exactly as we say, you and your cat will die. Do you understand? Whatever you need. Good, now listen to us carefully. 
We need you to perform a little magic trick on us. Do you like magic? Magic is magical. Who doesn't like magic? Anyway, this magic is very powerful. It's tremendous and dangerous. Here's the recipe. Be cautious and precise. Otherwise, terrible things can happen. Um, I don't know if I'm going to be able to do it. Do it yourself. We can't do it. It would kill us. You see, we weren't like this before. We need to be two different people in two different bodies. But how is it that you are like this now? One night a long time ago, something appeared in front of us. We thought it was an angel, but it was not. He decided that we should spend eternity together. He cursed us to be like this. We never understood why. We have a spell to bring him back. But we will do that later, when we are not attached to each other anymore. And show him that he is powerless and he will regret it. I'll try my best. We are going to gather some things you will need for the ritual. In the meantime, you can go and talk to your cat. But we won't set him free yet. Don't even try to open the cage. If you help us, we will help him. Thank you. I'll go and talk to him. And Fran, do you see this key? Can you imagine what can be opened with it? Can you, you silly little girl? Oh, okay. Thanks, jerk. What an absolute jerk. So, they left out this way? Okay, let's go talk to the cat. Did you get the key already? I'm on it. Oh, that's it? They just want to utilize me. They cut hair from me and took some blood. It's for the recipe. I think they're witches, wicked witches, you know, like in the stories we like to read. You're right. I don't know what to do. I don't know, Fran. What did those girls tell you? They told me they weren't attached to each other before and that they will get revenge against the one who did this to them. They also showed me a key. I'm pretty sure it's for this cage. They have the evil inside. I mean, maybe that someone had its reason. Evil against evil. There must be something, something that they are really afraid of. I don't know. I'll see what I can find. See you soon, my dearest. Uh, I'm thinking maybe the mirror is the source of their power. Red rose in a painting, huh? I think that maybe um, they aren't actually twins. I think one of them was a reflection of themselves. Oh, hello. It's him again, but I haven't taken my pills. He opened the window. Thank you, but who is he? A rusty old bicycle in the middle of an island. Hey, you. Yes, who's speaking? Me, I'm a toad. I have to tell you something. What is it? You're in great danger. Don't trust the girls. Why do you say that? Look, girl, I'm a toad, and I know I can swim away from this place. But they won't let me. Every time I try to get out of here, I magically come back. This house is like a huge magnet. A toad and cat magnet. They love us, but not to give us love. Just to use us. Don't trust them. That's terrible. That's why my kitty is here, then. They gave you a recipe for some kind of magic, right? How do you know? Did you see the dead girl in one of the rooms? Well, that can be you if you try to do it. She tried, but she did it wrong. What should I do? I'm not a clever toad, but if I were you, I would be creative. Creative. I'll try to do my best. And girl, please save us all. I really want to get out of here. Let me have a look at that recipe. The heart of a frog. Well, Sue, so this this is a toad. Would not do it. The head of a young virgin. Hair and blood from a black cat. 
A pentagram made of ashes. The burnt body of a fox. I'm, I'm assuming we don't actually want to try this spell. Let's uh, try some pills. Doubters need the truth on paper. Do we try the rose on her? Can't do that. My sister is trying to catch me, but I ran away. I'm scared. Would you help me? I have a monster inside my head. Okay. Doubters need the truth on paper. I feel like the rose would be... would work here somewhere. With plank? Can we take that plank? Oh, we can, yeah. Don't know what I'm doing with that. Ashes? Seems to me the ashes are... to make the pentagram. Oh, pepper. Okay. Um, so there's a lot of things that we have to conduct here. I'm pretty sure we're gonna, like, the game might want us to do a pentagram here. Maybe they didn't have enough to paint everything. Makes a soup tasty. Yeah. And salt. Pentagram made of ashes, hair and blood from a black cat, heart from a frog, I really hope they don't, like, you know, want me to kill that toad lad. Uh, can I take this rose? Seems to me I would want the rose, but I can't seem to take it. Maybe it'll attack me. I, I finally got this because she did get attacked by a, a pine cone earlier, didn't she? And salt? Oh, we're gonna need the salt as well. Oh, yeah, you're right. So we're gonna need salt for something. Salt and pepper to make a soup. Don't... I have a lot of ingredients to make stuff, but I don't really know what I'm making. Long piece of wood, it could be used... For, could be good for something, alright. I'm assuming we're gonna put the candles here on the pentagram. Yeah. Um... Just so I know, Mimesis, is there, like, a, an accidental way of conducting the spell that I don't want to do. It's like, you know, something that concerns me is they want me to collect blood from my cat. I don't like that. Cozy and warm. I'm wondering if, like, Am I meant to do the spell a little bit? And then, uh, you know. I think you're going to trick them somehow. Still don't know. Oh, I have the plank now. 
Oh, interesting. It, it spawned me, like, upstairs. I have the plank, so I should be able to get the whatever's in the bottle. There you go. Didn't they say they had already taken the blood from and hair from the cat? You're not wrong. I can't lift it. It's too heavy. All right, knife time. Okay, that was needless. That burned, why? There is no fire. I can't touch the bottle, it burns. Uh, maybe it's an acid, in which case a... Some, a, a base would do it. Hmm. Tweezers? There we go. Uh, five black can- oh, revealing the true soul. Blood from the executor of the ritual. Hair from the person you want to bewitch. So this is the real spell we're conducting. A blue a blue bloomed moonlight rose. Salt and pepper. Okay, alright, alright, I gotcha. We're gonna need some of those other things though. Um b -b -b salt and pepper. Okay. Trying out things is good. Okay, we'll do the salt and pepper then. Hold on, let me read this first. To destroy an impure soul or give freedom to those who are trapped, you will need. Um draw a pentagram with the ashes inside the black and white squares. Put a light lighted black candle on every point of the pentagram. Um, does that mean I have to pick up the candles and light them? Fill a cauldron with water and put the other elements and boil it. Okay, hold on a second. Okay, let's get this cauldron. Solid. Okay, now we're gonna have to boil some stuff. I was so sure the soda would work. <laughs> Me too. <laughs> I'm glad I wasn't alone on that one. <laughs> oh. We need to use the matches. There we go. There we go. And let's read the recipe boil so we need um, blue bloomed moonlight rose salt and pepper blood from the executor of the ritual so I'm guessing that would be me right ouch hope it tastes good tra la la Salt and pepper into the magical soup. Goodbye, Blue Rose, in the pot now. Um, and now we need one last thing. Hair from the person you want to bewitch. So we're gonna have to go get some hair. You think there would be some here? Maybe... No? What am I doing with this baking soda? Looking around for some hair, I'm not finding it. I 
I don't want to hear that again. Maybe our friend the cat has something to say. Not yet. They just want to utilize me. I regret starting this line of dialogue tree again. Light those candles? Ah. I guess, uh, matches, right? There you go. Light those candles and type something. Type something? I, I type something. They are evil, but I'm a bit scared I've never done these kind of things. Oh, on the typewriter? You'll, you'll have to forgive me, I, I was, like, not expecting that at all. Do I have some paper? Oh, there we go. Hair from your head. Oh, fun. Okay. So hopefully they're going to show up pretty soon. There they are. Here are the materials you'll need. Have you studied the ritual? Yes, but I'll need more time. I can't remember all the words. Learn them fast. Let us know when you are ready. Wait, no, come back. I need your hair. Oh. I think you need help getting rid of this bag. I can do it for you. But I may need it. No, you don't. Trust me. If we want to get out of here, this bag must disappear. I'll take it. You didn't see me. Bye. Wow. Look, ladies, there's something missing. I couldn't find your hair in the bag. Hair, you say? There's no hair needed. We know that. Look for yourself. It's written down there in the recipe. That's true. How could we miss that? All right. There, now get prepared. I'll let you know when I'm ready. All right, here we go. Now the hair, good. I should, should show the girls that the potion is ready. Is it actually ready? Uh, pour over the person you want to bewitch and repeat these words while you walk around the pentagram. Okay. I guess, um... I guess we showed them the potion, show them the potion and then we, we will conduct the uh, ritual. Everything is ready, let's go to the kitchen. Good, let's go. creepy please sit down and close your eyes ladies very trusting of them now 
And now I'll say the words. Bonte ir ekran o ir begma o ibir nam ibir erg bonte. It's it's like a some history from Caves of Cud. This is basically just like a bunch of sultan names. The words are being said. One more. Wait a second. That's not the right spell. You tricked us. Uh oh. Oopsie. Oh. That's bad. What have I done? Oh my goodness. This this is not right. What are you talking about? She was clearly evil. Now I can free my dear kitty. I'm nervous. You, th you think that, but I think that this key is for the mirror, if I'm being honest. I'm gonna try it on the mirror first. Get rooked, witches! Key was for this keyhole. And what's that? A puzzle? Alright, puzzle time. Oh, I love sliding puzzles. Said no one ever. For real, I don't think anyone likes sliding puzzles. It may be some sort of engine. Not, not sure which parts I should be connecting to what. Like, does this part connect to this part? That's not working. Hmm. Maybe I need this part. Yeah, I do need that part. Okay. I thought that was part of the background, honestly. Well, that's still not right. Oh, there we go. I just need to get this gear out of there. Sorry, I know this is, uh, I'm being long-winded about this. Actually, I'll get the other key and then I can move them both at once, basically. Hmm. 
That's, uh, okay. Hold on a second. Give me a second. I know how to do this. There we go. I just need to, like, get it out of the way so it doesn't get shuffled around. There we go. Spooky. Sister promise we Clara and Mia uh, Bohomet promise to revenge the unfair destiny it were decided for us. With blood and tears, we promise that we will kill him and bring our bodies back. We won't stand this any longer. Even though we are sisters, we hate each other, and we will always hate each other. Nothing will ever change that. But now, with our bodies attached to each other, we can't complete our task. The strongest will live forever, and the weakest will die. Mother must die. Duotine. My pills are called duotine as well. Must be a really old doll. What is this? Two skeletons? Hmm, you really don't know, huh? Hmm. Here we go. Get our cat out. I think this is the key. It worked, my dear kitty, it worked. Come out. Let me hug you. Aww. That's a nice little scene. Ah, Cute. I can't wait for the game to absolutely ruin this with something horrific. This feels so good. I'm free, Fran, my good friend. Time to go home. Now it's time to go home. Yes, let's go. Find Mr. Midnight. Nice. We can do this together. I can help you. Nice. I, honestly, I was questioning whether or not the cat was even real, and I still am, honestly. Okay, can we leave now? Do you have some ideas on how to get out of this place? I'm sorry, I don't. Maybe someone else has some ideas. Still can't go up that, right? Okay. Um, let's go out that window and talk to the toad, maybe. Oh, it's already 5.13. Dang. Lost track of time completely. I did it, Sir Toad. The girls are gone. That is perfect. Now I can leave this place and go, f go to my family. I wanted to do that too, sir. I finally found my kitty. I just want to go home now and be with Aunt Grace. But how will you do that? How will you get out of here? There is no boat. Help us get out. I would love to help you, but I'm too tiny. Even though my body is quite moldable, it would be impossible to carry you both to the other side. Let me think about it. Don't leave us just yet. Um... Room. No, um... Baking soda. Use it on the toad, make him big. Take this toad, it may help. I'm not a bakery bun. But you are all slimy and soft like dough. You're right, it may work. Here it goes. There you go. Cool. I really did, I'm so big and I feel gorgeous. Great, let's go. Come, Mr. Midnight. Sure, Fran, I only have one complaint. That giant toad is staring at me. He wants to help. That's all. Alright, if he tries anything, I will scratch him. That's okay, but try not to hurt him so much while we're sitting on him. The water is deep and we don't know what kind of creatures are in there. If we fall in the water, we could die. Oh, I promise I won't scratch the toad. Let's go. Before we go, I forgot to give you something. I saw you in this picture, so I thought it was yours. Yay! I notice uh, our dad in that picture kind of looks like the the warden at the mental hospital. I was going to say skin the toad to make a boat. Jesus. I mean, I don't blame you for thinking that's a solution. 
This boat, this book was with it too. Oh. oh, Toad, you found my family photo. Thank you very much. I thought I had lost it forever, but the book is not mine. Oh, I'll take the book as a gift. It's always healthy to read. It has many pictures. Thank you. I like pictures. Well, let's go now. Here we go. Hold on tight. Gross. Gross and weird. Oh, we frogger now, huh? <laughs> I guess this is a... Uh, we're gonna end each chapter with like a tone shift. had fun with that picture. I feel like that was like clay. Here we are. Jump off me now. Let's go, kitty. Well, now it's time to go home. I hope you find your family soon, Sir Toad. Thank you. You too. Farewell. Goodbye, sir, and thank you for the ride. Pran, what should we do now? Find the way back home, kitty. Do you see the sky? It's dawn and really soon all the scary things will disappear. I'm so hungry and sleepy. I want to go home now. Me too, kitty. We'll find the way. I'll do my best to help you, my dear. Let's go. I was expecting the act to end there. This bridge looks pretty scary. Come on, we have to go home. There's no time to be afraid now. I'm a bit afraid of heights. You can go first, alright? Then you follow me. Alright, kitty. You are so sweet. I'll be right behind you. Let's go, I'm waiting for you. Wait. Oh no! Oh no! No! No. Oh my dear, I can't hold on anymore. I want to die. I don't want to die, sorry. You won't die, my friend. Come on, you can do it. Jump. Alright, here we go. Oh, I got you. No, you don't. Oh my god. <laughs> Fran. No. Oh my god. This is, uh, that, that was a lot. Don't be afraid, Fran. We always fall. And after the pain, we will always rise. Rise out of bed? My dear Aunt Grace, don't ever leave me. Don't cry, my little girl. Your heart is pure, but your mind is tormented. You have to stay and walk your own path. Why won't, uh, won't you just take me out of here, please? You'll just leave me all alone, like my mother and father did. I'm sorry, my dear Fran. You will soon understand. Aunt Grace, no, don't go. That's a lot of blood. It's time for your new medicine.
Are we the cat now? Oh, that's kind of fun. What happened? Where am I, Fran? Where are you? All right, let's um, let's call it there for now. Cause I'm gonna end the stream.